what a what a here we go again we are back with some more mystery case files 13th skull uh, if you like these videos please give them a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already click subscribe and hit that little bell icon to get notifications of when I upload new content which I do daily uh, <laughs> anyway uh, we last left off where do we leave off Oh yeah, we were gonna go talk to somebody in the Swaller. Uh, so uh, we went around, we went, came to town, and the Voodoo, Voodoo Absolute with what was her name, Mama Amy. They're closed, and the uh, service station here, it's closed. So uh, yeah, gas pump and such. The pumps are off. So we're. Here. Swallers kicking it open. It's ladies' night, and so uh, we're gonna hop in and see what's going on at the Swaller. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's not creepy guy. He's sitting there in a in a sweater vest with a checkerboard. All right. I'm a. Is it? Uh, I'm sorry. This guy's bothering me. Uh. Go talk to the barkeep. Oh, welcome to the drink and swallow, stranger. You here to pick up that carryout order? Uh, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not here to pick up a carryout order. <laughs> the chicken gumbo? Oh, never mind, Shug. I thought you was here from down the road a piece. No. Just as well, I guess. Our cook Lamont didn't bother showing up for work again tonight. Something about his gorda acting up on account of the weather. No. Okay. Say, you look like you know your way around the kitchen. Would you Do mind it. seeing if you could cook up that gumbo? It goes to the angry fella lives down the lane. The angry fella lives down the lane. Is it like normal to uh, I just ask? Just came down to have a few drinks. Uh, okay. Is is it normal to ask someone, a stranger, mind you, to make food and then deliver it? Okay. Uh, search the tavern for missing gumbo ingredients. Right, there's one. Let's see, we need an onion. There's, there's an onion. Uh, looks like we need some corn peppers. Oh, I saw that out there on the table. Is, is that a, is that a, that's a chicken? Some salt. Um. Uh, we, 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 I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, I'm kind of confused because I came here to ask questions, and before I can even get to what I'm here about, they're 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 wanting me to cook. We got the oven sitting open and on, mind you. I bet it's hot in here. There's an electric fan in the window, so I have to assume the window's open, doors wide open, and it's raining. I... Okay, we're looking for a zucchini, a steak knife. Uh, that, that's not a steak knife. Uh, a steak knife, a cookie, honey jar, fork, and a pepper. Honey jar, fork, and a pepper. There's a fork. A wooden spoon. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just bothered by all this. Um, a hairnet garlic stein. Noodle and tomato. Just one noodle. Just, just one noodle. Is that a noodle? It looks like a noodle to Mickey. Just flung up on the wall there like a booger. That's a spork. <laughs> this place is gross. There's that pepper. Uh, steak knife. <clears throat> Excuse me. Steak knife. Uh, a cookie. Oh, I, I was hungry. This isn't an tomato. Stein garlic and hairnet. There's there's a hairnet. Um there's the stein. Uh, I guess that's the garlic. There's the honey jar. Um steak knife and a cookie. Uh, there's the cookie. Now see, y'all need to be a little more specific, because 
you know, I dabble in the kitchen a bit in uh, real life, and uh, that could be a steak knife. Yes, it could. That's an asparagus. And there's knives laying about. Not near one of them is a steak knife. There's a roach on that knife. I'm bothered. That dripping's bothering me too. I'm sorry. I, this, I'm just, you know, I came in wanting to play. I was in good spirits, and then I get to the drink and swallow, and the bartender asked me to come in here and cook because Lamont didn't come in because he got an acting up goiter because of the weather. Now I can't find a steak. There it is. And we have a jar of honey. Great. We still need to find the rest of these ingredients. Hey, guy. I don't know. I don't want to talk to you. You're creepy. Can we go back here? Is that not the kitchen I just came into? No, that's the hallway. Uh, oh, out here in this old... Hey, that's an insignia. There's the, ch the, the chicken's just sitting there. I'm going to go put this in somebody's food. Just chilling out here in the smoker. Oh, come on. I can pick that. There's some tomatoes sitting out here just getting wet. What I need now? Corn and salt. There's corn just sitting in a box in the hallway. Uh, I need some money. If I'm going to be making calls. I have money, but I don't know who I'm calling. Alright. Hey, give me a minute. Alright, somebody's in the bathroom. I'm going to the office here, and there's a chicken with... Oh, wow. Is there any salt in here? That's what I came in here looking for. Salt. Ah. We got people's phone numbers. Melba, Julius, Lamont, the guy didn't, that didn't show up. Delphine. Hmm, Delphine, huh? Cookie, Virgil, and Od Odilia? 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 Found another insignia. Let's have a look over here and see what we got. Looking for a rotary phone. For all you new gens out there, it's a phone that... Uh, has a little spinny thing on the front, and that's what you use to uh, dial out. It's not this guy. No, no, no. That, that guy. But a rotary phone would be... Uh, let's see, I gotta find one. Hmm. Would ask you to help me find... Oh, there it is. See how it's got this little round thing here? You'd have to spin that to dial the numbers. Anyway. A fountain pen, cue stick, which is a pull stick for those of you who don't know. Fountain pen, staple puller, one of those little alligator things. I like playing with them. Uh, a towel. Did I see a towel? I thought I saw a towel. Like rolled up. Did I see a rolled up towel? I don't know. Anyway, a postage stamp rubber. I'm sorry, rubbing paper. What is rubbing paper? Is that rubbing? I don't know what rubbing paper is. It's sugar cubes, dress form. That's the mannequin. Wait, uh, oh, there it is. Uh, a banjo and some keys. I go to keys. Um, banjo is back here. I go to sugar cubes. Um, staple puller right there. Oh no, y'all. Just coming up here just got me bothered. Asking me to do these things. Rubbing. These things happen to, like, they, they follow me around. Like, wherever I go. Weird things happen. 
Like I'm, I'm up here to find a missing person. Next thing you know, there's talk of pirate ghosts. I'm cooking and the drinking swaller. This creepy guy out, out there in a sweater vest dancing to no music with a checkerboard in front of him. I have, I have this, I have this sneaking suspicion that uh, I'm gonna be playing checkers with that guy. <laughs> I can see it happening. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's got something I need, and before I give it to him, he's gonna make me play checkers. I bet you anything that's what's happening. <laughs> Rubbing paper, probably right too. Rubbing paper, fountain pen, and towel. I usually find fountain pens fairly easy. Ah, it's over here in the cup with the rest of the writing utensils. Should have been the first place I looked. Problem is I don't uh, problem is I don't know. Okay, there's the rubbing paper. I, what is rubbing paper? I, is that like sandpaper? That's the only paper I can think of. That's your rub. You rub it on something. Rubbing paper. A towel. That was my dog flopping her head around. Now she's scratching. It's time for a bath. You over there scratching. Being all loud. Uh, that's a pick. Come on, I just want a towel. I want to get done with the swaller and be on my way. Do y'all see a towel? I see it. It's right here, draped over the daggone mechanical bowl. Oh, I have that rubbing paper. Great. All right. Okay, we still need some salt. Don't get special. Okay, don't get special. It it did something to that feller. Um. Y'all seen any salt? <laughs> I have it. I need some salt to make this gumbo. A claw. Don't have time to play games. Well, I just wanted to go see if there's a, a claw over or a, a salt over there. Um, is it down in the cellar? Do I need to find a find a way into the cellar? Does this key that I have go to the cellar that I found at the house? I don't see why it would. The thunder was only in my right ear. It kind of threw me up. Oh, there it is. I got it. I got it. That's just gross. It's, this place is just nasty. I would hate to see it. the health inspector grade. Throw this chicken in there. It's just all in there. The tomatoes. Corn. Whole cob, y'all. Just throw the whole cob in there. The salt. Keeping my honey. The pepper. And then the sausage. And now I have a bag. My compliments to the chef. Deliver gumbo to the neighbor down the lane. Really? Down this way? Let's go into the swamp. I'm, I am not, no. Hey, dude. It's the side of the manor. Oh. It's that guy. He's got a... I got your food. Cooter? His name's Cooter. Well... Look at here, if it ain't my supper. <laughs> uh. Not sure how I feel about it being delivered by some stranger. Talk to well, folks the folks around here. We don't take kindly to strangers. Do you not? Uh, that's fine. Uh, you're pretty cut, bruh. Just throwing that out there. Um. Do <laughs> you know anything about Mr. Larson? Mr. Who? Larson. Oh, you must mean that fella moved in next door. I do. I wasn't aware he'd gone missing. 
All I know is he's keeping odd hours and, and poking around here like he lost something. I also heard that that couple they hired to clean up the place is into the devil magic. The, the, the devil magic? What, what's devil magic? You know, voodoo. I hear tell Mary Lee does the cavorting with the spirits and such. Cavorting? If I were you, stranger, I'd keep my distance from that one. She's just trouble looking for a place to happen. Uh, you don't want to go mess with that. <laughs> you tell me about the property, Cooter. Their house next door has been subject to speculation for a long while. Subject to speculation. I can't tell you much about the house's history. But I can tell you this, it sat there empty for as long as I can remember. I'm right. surprised the Lawsons decided to move in, with it being cursed and all. Of course, they're not river folk like us, and probably don't carry much sense. River folk. Um, what curse are you speaking of there, Cooter? The curse of the pirate Phineas Crown. Huh. Some folks believe that house next door was built by him and that his ghost still walks the halls, keeping an eye out for folks trying to steal all his treasure. Listen, stranger, I'd love to talk with you more about this, but my wife's been nagging me all week to get that old air conditioner fixed. <laughs> How about this? Why don't you take a look at it and get that thing fixed, and then I'll tell you all I know about that pirate. Okay, so, um... Cooter has some information. Yeah, he does. He has some information about Phineas Crown. And he's the first person I've talked to to know something about Phineas Crown. Hmm. After preparing an order of chicken gumbo for the understaffed bartender, she talked me into delivering it to the Larson's rather uncouth neighbor, Travis Cooter Landry. I didn't know his name was Travis. How did I know that? Anyway, Mr. Landry is unacquainted with the Larsons, but is familiar with their hired hands, Mary and Louis Lee. According to the, according to Landry, Mrs. Lee is known is a known practitioner of voodoo. He went as far as to suggest keeping my distance from her entirely. Yeah, he did. In addition to the rumor about Mary Lee, Mr. Landry mentioned the Larson estate lying vacant for as long as he could remember and attribute that to the curse of a pirate named Phineas Crown. When I asked for more information on the curse, his wife appeared at the door, bitchy, and berated him for leaving their air conditioner in a state of disrepair. Maybe if I fix it, He'll give me more information on the mysterious pirate. Did she? 